Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks for Microsoft Live at EDU. My name is Evan Archella and I'd like to talk with you about co-authoring SkyDrive based documents in Microsoft Office 2010. We talked a little bit about co-authoring in a previous webcast. It's the ability to be able to work on the same file at the same time with other users and have the changes reflected in pretty close to real time amongst the group. Excel and OneNote feature co-authoring in the web app, in the browser. Word and PowerPoint require the full version of Office 2010 in order to enable that co-authoring to take place. The co-authoring in Word and PowerPoint, even though it happens in the client, it still requires the document to live on the SkyDrive. So I've got here a PowerPoint presentation, and I'm going to demonstrate for you the co-authoring in this particular version of Microsoft Office. The first thing I need to do, however, is move this file out of my documents into another shared location. The reason I want to do that is my documents is a private folder. Permissions roll downhill, so if I'm going to open up this file for sharing with other users, it's going to open up the entire folder. So it's better for me to take this file, go ahead and move it over to a folder that I already have shared with someone else. So I have the weather project, for example. This is just another class project, but it's already shared. So I'm going to go ahead and put that butterfly project presentation into this folder and now it's shared with people I selected. It takes on the characteristics, the sharing rights of the top level folder. Now that I have it here, I can go ahead and begin editing this document with someone else. If I click it, I can go into the read mode for the Office web apps and from here I want to open this up in PowerPoint. I'm going to open this in PowerPoint 2010. 2010 PowerPoint and Word both support the co-authoring in the full application. The experience is very similar between the two. I'm going to show you how it works in PowerPoint, but it would be essentially the same functionality that you would see within the Word application as well. Because this is an internet-based document, I need to enable it for editing. So now I have access to all of the editing tools. And if I go to slide number four, let's say I'm going to start editing this document. Well, you can see I get a bubble pop up at the bottom here that says Sanjay Patel is editing this document. What that means is Sanjay has gone out to SkyDrive and opened the same file that I'm working in. He's opened it up in his version of PowerPoint 2010. So we're now working together in the same application from different locations. And if I click this bubble you'll actually see all the other people that are editing within this document. Now I can go ahead and begin to edit this if I was to take and do some text formatting here I can basically make the changes that I want to make and unlike the browser based co-authoring so for Excel and OneNote where the changes kind of push automatically I'm going to have to initiate a sync within Word or PowerPoint. So in this case, what I do is I come up to the top, you'll see the save icon with the revolving arrows. By clicking this, I'm actually pushing all of my changes out to the SkyDrive, and I'm pulling other changes down at the same time. So it's going to basically pull the changes that Sanjay has synced as well down into my local file. And you can see here, he actually went through and added a new slide in this particular presentation. So while I've been editing one, he's been editing another. Let me show you something else while we're in PowerPoint that relates to a SkyDrive based presentation. If I go up to the file uh, area here, I can go into the backstage view. I want to go to, to uh, save and send. And I'm going to show you something called broadcast slideshow. If you have a SkyDrive based PowerPoint presentation, you can broadcast it over the internet and deliver it in real time through the browser. The way that you do that is you'll essentially start a broadcast. It will generate a link for you. Now let's say I have some kids in my class that are homesick today, but we're going to be delivering a presentation. Well, I can take this link, I can go into my Outlook Live solution, whether it's the browser or the full Outlook client, if I happen to be using that, and paste this link in an email message and send it out to those students. When they get that email, they click the link, it takes them to their browser, and they'll get a message like, broadcast is about to start, or something like that. When I'm ready, I'll start the slideshow on my side here, and I'll deliver this presentation just like I would have on any other uh, 
any other day, any other circumstance. But the students that are home with the link open within their browser, they will be able to see my presentation in real time broadcast to them through their browser. So I can run through the presentation. When I'm finished, if I end the broadcast, what essentially happens is those students' browser screen just returns to kind of a blank state, and it says the broadcast is over. But it's very easy for me to be able to take this information, and because the original file is on SkyDrive, be able to deliver it to those remote viewers. If I close this, just one final thing here. Obviously, Butterfly Project and Weather Data don't necessarily go together. This is the Weather Project folder. I used it just for expediency today. But if I wanted to rename this something like Class Projects, you can use the commands here to be able to rename certain folders. You can rename files if you need to. Um, it's pretty easy to do within the SkyDrive interface. Let me give you a few links to consider. If you're interested in more information on Live at EDU, I have some links here for you in terms of the program itself. Uh, Help.outlook.com is a great resource for Outlook Live if you want to learn more about the hosted exchange side of Live at EDU. And if you go to Bing and do a search on Office Web Apps Product Guide, you'll get a nice download there where you can get a, about a 50-page document or so that goes line by line through all of the different features of the web apps by web apps. So all the features of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote will give you the opportunity to review those and learn a little bit more about how they work. Again, for co-authoring, Excel and OneNote, they co-author in the browser. Word and PowerPoint, they co-author in the Office 2010 applications. I look forward to having you on another screencast.